Hey everybody, welcome back to the Mini Max 1030S build with me, Scott. I'll explain that in a minute. I'm wearing a new present I just got from a couple of my kids. Very nice leather uh, flight jacket. It's going to go well. Um, I don't know if I'll get a chance to wear this in cold weather or not for a while, but we'll see. But meanwhile, I really love it. Very nice of my kids. I got some very generous loving kids and the the ones that give me this, of course, got a uh, pretty good level of taste. You know, some people got more taste than other than the three that give me these got pretty good taste, as you can tell. Very nice, though. Thank you, kids. You know, uh, I'm working on a few different things here I'll show you. I've been waiting for the engine, which I ordered seven months ago, to come. It never came, and I'm glad it didn't because I come to find out that the thump air engine is a piece of junk. That everybody's having problems with it. That the manufacturer is being sued for negligence. And along with me, where you're ripping people off. So I wouldn't have anything to do if I were you with a motor called thump air or a company called chaos concepts or a person called Scott Skalski. Um, just a little advice to everybody. Uh, it appears to be a liar and a thief as well as a, I've heard it, heard it said uh, on several several plane forms he's incompetent and negligent as well. So I am buying a Simone 36 horsepower. It's going to go right here. It's going to be about half the weight and almost as much horsepower. It's going to give me 36. I've been waiting to put all this together, all this together so... I want to run all the hoses and the throttle cables and run all the wires and stuff. Figure out what side of the motor it's on and all that before I cover it up because you can tell there's not a lot of room to crawl in there after it's covered up. Now these are the uh, supports for the gas tank. Let me show you what what's happening. All right, so I don't know if you remember this dick board here it goes in here. Got a little reinforcement underneath. Now these, uh, these pieces are put in pretty much exactly to what the drawing calls for. And then you put the gas tank in. I am waiting, waiting on a hose I ordered two weeks ago, some clear, I think it's purple hose, and I want to run it up under the tank and out before I uh, close this up. It's really holding me up. Everything just keeps holding me up. All right, and this is the height of the tank. You get these uh, two pieces here. In there. Let's see. And one there. And these will end up gluing to the uh, underside of this deck when it goes on right now i've got them flush you know you can run a straight edge across here and they're flush and they'll glue up good now i got this piece i'm getting ready to put it on getting it close marking where members go you know stuff like that and i put it up here And if you look, not sticking up on a drawing, it shows it's sticking up about an inch. And it's not sticking up, so this cap doesn't, doesn't really go on there. Uh, and I called Dave Cooper, who was a team mini mask. I actually texted him and let him know that we got another bust. Another bust in the design. The bust seems to be right here where this neck just isn't long enough. Because uh, it appears that the tank is the right size and everything else and the, the height and all that's okay. Now, talk, talking of David Cooper, Team Minimax, I don't recommend, I don't really recommend doing any business with him unless you've got um, a year better to get your parts. I've been getting a few parts trickling in from uh, Dave Cooper over Minimax. And 
The reason is because I actually took him to court and got a judgment against him. And uh, once I did that, he started sending me stuff. I don't think he intends to be a thief, but he doesn't understand that what he was doing was wrong. You know, robbing Peter to pay Paul, that's not how you, not how you get customers, that's for sure. But uh, I see he sent me a picture where the ribs are done, and um, he's supposed to be mailing them to me finally. I got in some little uh, airline ends. <clears throat> um, I think I'm waiting on some, some more glue and a few other little minor things, and I finally get all the stuff to build the airplane. And I'm going to hire... Uh, Round up some money and uh, buy that Simone motor. Probably see it in a couple weeks or so. But what I got to do is raise up this deck. I tried it out last night. Raise this up about that thick. And I might get the cap on and still have something, something left of this. So what I'm going to do is glue a piece on right here. Then I'm going to take and cut these down by that thickness right there. There's not going to be much to it, but it'll still hold fine underneath there. All right, it is warm enough to pack. I'm going to take this nice jacket off so I don't mess it up. Seems like years since I packed anything. But it's only been uh, a couple of weeks, I guess. Got a spell of good weather. Need to take advantage of it, huh? Yeah, Simone, Simone, Simonini motor, single cylinder, two stroke, 36 horsepower, I think it's 6,000 RPM, weighs 22 kilograms, or what's that about? 46, 47 pounds, something like that. The next choice I was looking at was a Kawasaki 440, which is a smooth running motor, to, you know, it's a two cylinder. But it weighed almost twice that much. And weight is everything when you're doing a part 103. In, in airplanes, period, you know, weight's everything. Got some other stuff I'll show you in a minute too. And one thing, one thing I don't have an advantage of on these, uh, these and on ten thirty, you know, the gas tank sits right here, just forward of the pilot. It's kind of it affects the center of gravity tremendously, where. Like the 110 uh, model, got the gas tanks in the wings, so you can, that's why you'll see them, they got heavier, heavier engines. They got the double VW engines and the two cylinders and all that. Oh, it's been a minute since I used any wax paper either.
All right, let's go ahead and dry. And I will put that in tomorrow. Now I gotta cut these down. That distance I just picked up, I gotta cut these down. Got those done. I don't know if I might use a uh, little piece of rubber under tank, a gasket or something. I got to do something to keep this thing from rattling around because the little wood thing that holds on there doesn't hold everything. Drilled these holes the other day. One, that's a gas line hose there and a throttle cable there. Um, the other wiring, I, I still have this deck to put on, a little bulkhead, so I'm, I'm thinking about bringing the rest of the wire through there. Try to keep everything as low as possible. Probably end up cutting this whole ledge off, it looks like, and for the redrive, because it's a very compact motor. We'll see, it's gonna be close. But that's gonna help me on my center of gravity and my weight. I got a bunch of stuff in. Let me see, got a bunch of clamps. I got a bunch of this strap. I'm going to use that to strap down my flight computer. I don't know if you remember. It's going to go on top of that top deck. I'm just going to cut a couple slots in it and wrap that around. Got a uh, fuel shutoff valve. So that gas line is going to come through that hole. And I think I have a filter on it then. Then it'll come to this. And then it'll go to the fuel pump on the motor. <clears throat> like I said, uh, David Cooper over at Minibacks. Right, these arrived today, the airline ends. And so I'm still waiting on a few pieces of metal, some glue and um, the ribs that go onto the wing. And I have most everything, except what isn't coming in right. And I also had uh, my, one of my soon to be son-in-law sit here the other day and a little shorter than I, so I had him on a pillow and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and hook this stuff up right here. Um, put a clasp on that for the uh, restraint and everything. If I need to get to it later, I can take this take this off. <laughs> Stuff this in the hole or whatever. And I got some varnishing to do, some cleanup to do. Uh, Cause it, a little fiberglass part comes for this, but it doesn't fit. It's, it's actually made about an inch too wide and it's fiberglass, so I'm not going to bend it without messing it up. But I got some white brake metal. I think I'm going to uh, maybe fasten a foam piece in there. And I've seen on another guy's video, maybe just some white brake metal from here to here. You know, it, ain't, it ain't any much. Hopefully the uh, hose comes tomorrow. I can run that hose and uh, hook the tank up. Put that in here. I need to put a little varnish on the pieces I just put on. Trying to gasket tanks. You want to varnish it good. Go ahead and get the gas tank in. I might do something else around the gas tank too. I need to seal it up good. I don't want to be filling gas in here. It, it, it'll dump right in where my feet and stuff are. So, gotta make it kind of uh, not, not watertight, but solvent tight uh, somehow right in here. Ain't figured it out yet. Then I go ahead and build this little turtle deck. Get the uh, I got a tachometer over here. I got too. Um, I didn't show you that little tachometer. I got the key switch, starter switch, and then I got the iPad that's going to go on the little dashboard. And then I got to cover it with some plywood. Um, and then uh, figure out the motor mounts for the engine and the fuselage to be pretty well done. Uh, besides the throttle, I got to uh, really, I need to get that motor before I can do the throttle. throttle kit. Um, anytime y'all got any suggestions, let me know. Don't, don't dilly dally around. Time to waste and the earth is spinning. Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day. You know what? It was a beautiful day here. Gosh, I mean, it was beautiful. Sunny, warm spring is in the air. Hope uh, God's blessing you like he is us. Remember to look up because that's where he's coming from. Hope to see you again soon. Take care.